Welcome back everyone. Last week I posted a video that had initial vent settings for an adult patient. And so somebody asked me, can you do neonatal and pediatric? So here it is. Here are neonatal and pediatric initial ventilator settings. So let's start with just neonates first. Okay. Most often in, within the neonatal realm, we use pressure ventilation. Now remember, pressure ventilation is where we set the peak inspiratory pressure and it's not going to change. What will change, however, is the tidal volume depending on the airway resistance or the alveolar compliance. All right, so pressure ventilation is also called time cycled pressure limited. Okay, all this really means is we're given a set pressure and we're holding it a very specific eye time and then the patient exhales, okay? So if you see TCPL, that's just pressure control, okay? So when we have a neonate, now here's another tip for you. A neonate just means a brand new baby. A neonate does not mean that they're premature, okay? If they're premature, it'll be a premature neonate, but if on testing they just say a neonate, that just means it's a brand new baby in its term, okay? So be careful here. So we're just now gonna talk a neonate, a term neonate. Time cycle pressure limited. You need your PIPs 20 to 30, and I don't really even like 30, so here's how I remember it. 20, 20, okay? PIPs in the 20s, rates in the 20s. Now hang on, I know you're not, well, you just said respiratory rate's 40, yep. For a term infant, I would like the rates in the 20s. For a preterm infant, we can go up to 40. So for a neonate, whether it's term or preterm, you want your respiratory rate about 40, oh, sorry, 20 to 40. All right, this is pressure ventilation, okay? Time cycle pressure limited ventilation. You have to set an eye time. You have to tell the machine how long that pressure is held on inspiration. Eye time is going to be between 0.25 and 0.5 seconds. Anything longer than that is an excessive eye time for the rate you're setting. Flow is going to need to be 5 to 10 liters a minute. You have to generate a flow for the vent to push that pressure in. So 5 to 10 liters per minute. FiO2, 30 to 60 percent, depends on what's going on. If this is a preterm neonate, you want to keep the PaO2s 50 to 70. So be careful about this. If this is a term neonate, you can run those PaO2s 80 to 100. All right, peep three to five, and then tidal volumes. Just remember, even though we're gonna set a pressure, we're looking at exhaled tidal volume. So for a premature neonate, that exhaled tidal volume needs to be between four to five mLs per kilo. And then for an infant, that needs to be five to six mLs per kilo. All right. Pediatric now. All right, pediatric volume ventilation. And this is almost the same as an adult, so don't sweat this, okay? Pediatrics, we typically do volume ventilation. Tidal volume is six to eight mLs per kilo. Yeah, see, that's the same as what it is for an adult. Rate, 12 to 20, same as it is for an adult. FiO2, same rule, you wanna put them on the FiO2 they were on initially. If we have no idea about the patient, no previous blood gas, we're gonna put them on about 40 to 60. Flow, we wanna set the flow to achieve an IE ratio of one to two initially, and then assess our waveforms at that point in time. And then peak can be set initially at three to five. So, there you go. Neonatal and pediatric vent setting. Hope this has helped. See you soon.